You're now looking at the 2011 Forest River Cardinal 3425. Uh, I want you to check out the aerodynamic front cap. Helps with your uh, fuel efficiency uh, and less wind resistant. Uh, this Cardinal's got great construction. It has uh, welded and aluminum uh, laminated sidewalls, two inch sidewalls. Uh, you got R9 insulation value in the sidewalls. You have R14 in the roof and R18 on the floor. Uh, this does come equipped with electric awning. If you want to zoom in there and check it out. Um, we're going to go to the compartments and a couple exterior features here in a minute uh, to show you the rest of the Cardinal. We're now going to take a look at some of the uh, other exterior features. I want to look in here real quick and show you where the hydraulic pump is located. Uh, this hydraulic pump runs all your slides. Uh, it does have some switches where you can turn individual slides off because Cardinal has you know one slide switch on the interior to run all slides out. So you can manually turn them off or or close them or open them up to run whatever slide you want. A little bit more storage below that. And then to the left of me, you got a very, very, very big uh, storage compartment. Plenty of height, plenty of width. Uh, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, you got a TV hookup for your outside and some uh, AC outlets just to, you know, watch TV. You got a battery disconnect. Uh, turn it off, you know, when you're not using your camper to keep any kind of current being pulled from your battery. Uh, you got a dirt devil. Uh, central vac system inside. This is just basically where the bag is located. Uh, take it out to, um, you know, change the bag out. And you got a very large 50 amp cord. Uh, Comes standard with it. Spare tire. And you we're now on the opposite side of the Cardinal. Um, we're going to look in the storage compartment here too, but I do want to show you a nice feature on the docking station. Uh, basically, all your uh, controls in one one central area. Uh, you have a place for your water filter. Filter your water. Uh, you got your satellite and cable hookups. You got a hot and cold outside shower, get a soap dispenser, you get a black tank sewer flush, and then here's your uh, gray and black um, tank dumps. Uh, you don't have to reach under the camper, you simply pull it right from here and you're good to go. Uh, to run your hoses up and your cables, you run it through the bottom of the camper, very easy to use. And like I said, you do have some more storage that goes in your outside storage from, from this side as well. Uh, and then to the left of me, you have two 30 pound LP tanks, so you got tons of LP, um, should last quite a bit of quite a bit of time. We're now at the back of the Cardinal. Uh, I want to point out a couple features. Uh, first I want you to notice this is where you uh, hook up your 50 amp cord. Like you saw in the storage compartment up front, it is detachable which is very nice. Uh, take it out, you know, off when you're not using it. You don't have to worry about shoving it back in. Connects really easy. Uh, beside that you have your uh, fresh water fill for your fresh water tank. Uh, basically if you're camping primitive and you're not going to have a hookup, that's where you fill your tank. That's where you want to hook up your water when you are at a campground. Uh, and then below here is a switch for your rear electric jacks. Um, take them up and down with ease. Um, and then around the back here you have a very nice designed um, rear fiberglass cap. Uh, very three dimensional, very very gorgeous. Uh, nice tail lights, auto style tail lights. Uh, you got a ladder. Uh, it is a full walk on roof. Get up there and do maintenance. Take care of the roof. Uh, you have a boat hitch on the back. Uh, we ordered this on all of ours. Uh, it's just a great feature to have. You can put a bike rack in it. Uh, you don't necessarily have to pull a boat with it. Um, so it's got a lot of great features on the Cardinal. A couple other quick features on the Cardinal uh, before we go inside. Uh, I want you to know that the slide outs, I did mention earlier that they are running on a hydraulic system. Uh, they go in and out quite a bit quicker. Uh, but the kitchen and living room slide outs are flush floor slide outs, so when they go in on the inside, it's just like you're standing on the same same flooring throughout. Um, and also this Cardinal is built on a 10 inch powder coated uh, I-beam Z frame, so it's super strong, going to last for years, um, way more strength than you ever need, and it'll definitely hold up going up and down the road. We're now at the back of the Cardinal, and just wanted to show you uh, the very large rear entertainment center area. Um, a lot of great features. Uh, you have cabinets above, tons of storage. You have a large rear window with day and night shades. You have a fireplace below and as you can see in the video the TV is raising right now. Um, it's basically a single touch button. You hit it one time, the TV comes up on its own. Uh, so when you're ready to enter entertain, you got your TV, but if you don't want to use it and you want to, you know, you're parked up against a lake or a good spot in the campground where you can see out the rear window, you can lower that TV and you'll have a perfect view outside. You're now looking at the very large super slide. Uh, point out a couple features. Notice you do have the panoramic windows. Uh, very tall windows, lets in a lot of light. Uh, great, you can cut down on electricity by not using light during the day. You got a booth dinette. Uh, the chairs do lift up so you have some storage below. 
Um, you have the table also lifts up. Uh, it's got a shock on it. Loads of storage there. And you do have extensions on both ends if you decide to make the table a little bit longer. Storage above uh, the seating area. Below that, you got some more windows and you got two. Uh, this particular model has the two uh, Lazy Boy leather recliners. That is an option. Uh, they do come cloth as standard, but we option most of them with leather. Uh, super comfortable. Comes with a little end table uh, with an attached lamp and a little magazine uh, rack below. Uh, the kitchen in this thing is phenomenal. Um, as you can see by me, you have a very, very large countertop area, an L-shaped countertop. This is Corian countertop. Uh, you have a pull-out faucet, uh, double door fridge, three burner stove with oven, very big microwave, loads of storage. Uh, to the left of the kitchen you have some more storage above and you have an air mattress high to bed sofa below. I'm now going to show you the central control unit of the Cardinal. Um, very convenient, right inside your door. You have all your controls, your, uh, your tanks to see the, the, how full they are, the battery, uh, you got your awning, your slide out button, uh, your water heater, uh, tank heaters, um, lights for the inside and outside. Um, awesome feature on the Cardinal. Uh, I want to point out the floor. You do have a 5 8 inch tongue and groove screwed flooring, so it's very strong, very durable. Uh, it's going to last you a lot of years. And then below the staircase here, you're going to notice a central vacuum system. Uh, your hose plugs into there. Uh, and then you also have a place if you're brooming, uh, sweeping with a broom, you can pull your dirt and dust over here, open it up, and it's going to suck all your dirt in uh, into the dirt devil bag below. Um, and I want to point out this awesome staircase in this cardinal. Very, very wide staircase compared to any other fifth wheel we've seen. Uh, tons of room to get up and down. You can walk up, follow me to the bedroom. Just look up right here. I know. We're now in the bedroom of the Cardinal. Just want to point out some awesome features. First, I want you to take a look at this sign. Uh, it's basically the Donald Trump home collection, uh, taking luxury on the road. Uh, you know, if it's good enough for Donald to sleep on, it's good enough for you. Uh, basically, it's a sort of pillow top mattress. Very comfortable. Uh, awesome place to sleep. Uh, behind the bed, you do have a sliding glass closet. Uh, loads of room in here to store stuff. It does lined, you know, with cedar wood. Um, very good for a closet, especially in a camper. Uh, you got a DVD player. Behind me here, you got a already prepped for washer and dryer. If you decide not to use it for a washer and dryer, you do have a clothes, clothes hanger. You can hang clothes and use it as uh, quite a bit of storage, but it is prepped for washer and dryer. And then to the left of me, you're going to notice an awesome area. You got a LCD uh, HD Toshiba TV up in the bedroom. You got some storage space beside it, um, place to hang keys, anything like that over here. Um, you do have full extension drawer glides on your drawers. Fit a lot of clothes in here. Just great, great use of space, great bedroom for a fifth wheel. Beside the bed and the camper, uh, don't want to forget this storage as well. Uh, you do have another large wardrobe space and some more drawers on full extension drawer glides. So not only does it have the sliding glass closets and the other dresser with the TV on it, this is another additional space to add tons of wardrobe room. We're now in the bathroom of the Cardinal and you got tons of room in this bathroom. Very large. Uh, I want to point out the shower. Uh, it's a standing shower, but you do have a little ledge to sit on. Uh, shave your legs, you know, for the ladies. Um, adjustable shower head, does have a skylight. To the left of the shower, you do have a very beautiful sink and vanity. This is Corian in the bathroom as well. Um, large, very large medicine cabinet. Tons of storage room there. And then behind me over here, you do have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Uh, very sturdy, strong toilet, lasts forever. Fantastic fan in the bathroom and also another mirror to look into. D&D &D RV between Dayton and Richmond in Preble County on US 35 features one of Ohio's greatest selections of RVs new and used. The D&D &D sales team has delivered to customers from coast to coast because of discount prices. D&D &D can help you find the best financing options available with easy terms of up to 20 years with deductible interest. They welcome trade-ins too, RV units or vehicles or any combination. You can afford a quality RV thanks to D&D. I repeat. You just 